Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtoot.com and today in this video I'll show you how you can create a beautiful and professional LMS and online course website with WordPress. This website is gonna be really special because in this website we're gonna have the functionality for the instructor to create a course from the front end. So they don't have to go to the dashboard to create the course, they can do it from the front end itself. Now for the design and functionality of this amazing website, I have taken inspiration from the top LMS websites like Skillshare and Udemy. And to create this website, you don't need any qualification or any technical skills. Anyone can follow along and create this amazing website. Now first of all, let me tell you how it's gonna be. First, I'll show you the demo of the exact website that we're gonna create in this particular video so that you have an idea about the website you'll be building. And after that, we'll start creating the website step by step. Now, if you wanna jump directly to some other section, you can see the timeframes in the video description below. And before proceeding further, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 24,000 online classes in design, business, technology, and more categories. And the great thing is that there are many classes on WordPress and WordPress related thing. For example, if you go to Skillshare and search for WordPress, you'll see there are many classes on WordPress teaching the basics of WordPress, SEO on WordPress, WooCommerce tutorials, and more. Also, there are classes on email marketing and social media marketing that you could watch to promote your website. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And the great news is that you can get your first two months on Skillshare for free if you use my link, which is given in the video description below. Now, let me tell you one thing, guys. I personally use Skillshare. It's an amazing website. There are a lot of good courses out there. You can watch them. For example, as I said you earlier, marketing and, you know, media marketing, social media marketing. You have, you know, email marketing, WordPress related courses. And there are also courses on Google AdWords, Facebook AdWords, how to use them, how to promote your products and so on. So go ahead, use the link and get your first two months for free. Now, let's see the demo website that we'll be creating in this video. All right, guys, so this is the exact same website that we'll be building in this particular video. This is the home page. Let me show you from the top. At the top, if you see this black bar, just ignore it because this uh, won't be there because we are the admin. I am logged in. I am seeing that this black bar. But when an instructor or a student logs in, they won't see this. Now, if you see the top thing is the header. Okay, so this is the header. You have your icon or your logo at the left hand side this is the logo you can obviously easily change this and put in your own logo after that we have this beautiful menu there are very few menus that i have included over here for example home menu icon then you have this all courses when you have that all courses you will see many different categories that are present on our website then you can also go to my account and if you want to become an instructor you can simply click on this link and you'll get a form fill in and you will be instructor now after that at the right hand side if you see the we have this profile icon when you click on this it's really amazing you see your image over here your profile your username you can go to dashboard courses and all those things now obviously i'll show you how the dashboard and those pages looks like but first let's see the home page we also have this cart icon because you know we'll be integrating woocommerce with this website so that we can sell the courses and we can also accept payment on our website now, if you see the first section, it's an amazing section. It's a hero section. We have a beautiful image in the background. And on top of that, we have this beautiful text which says learn, collaborate, validate, join 47 million students. And obviously you can change the color, change the image, change the text that you want to do. It's just a demo website. I'll show you how to do that. If you want to add some other text, you can easily do that. We also have a call to action button. You can redirect this button to any section or any particular page or any particular course you want. Then after that, we have these three sections or these three columns. You can see WP, uh, WordPress, LMS, social network, web application. You can learn all these things. In the second section, as you can see, this is a counter that is going on. At the top, we have this uh, text or we have this heading, learn anywhere, learn anything, social LMS for your academy. Then after that, we have this counter, 4,900 courses. Obviously, you can change this number according to your website. 300 instructors, uh, 50,000 students, 51 subjects. Then we have a few images. These are the category images that are present on our website. Now after this, this is the testimonial section. It's an amazing and beautiful section. As you can see, this is actually a slider section. This looks amazing. It has some simple and amazing, 
you know animations beautiful text and everything i'll show you how to create these things then after that we have this instructor section you can put in some instructor maybe the top selling instructors on your website and something like that you can put them at the top or on the home page then after that we have this beautiful section now in this section if someone wants to register as an instructor they can simply come ahead they can fill in this simple form and they will be registered as an instructor then at the bottom we have the popular courses uh, showcased on the website so that you know this encourages people to sell their courses to get you know featured on the home page i'll show you how a single course looks like don't worry first let's see this page now at the bottom if you see this is our photo this photo is divided into three different sections this is the first section we have some text about the company about your website then after that we have few courses on uh, the view categories of the courses that are present on our website and the third section we have the subscription or the newsletter form now because we have this thing i'll also show you how you can do you know simple and free email marketing so this is very useful for that now if you see at the bottom we have this copyright text so obviously you can change these uh, text easily it's really easy now if you click on this button it will redirect you to the top as you can see now let me show you how the complete courses page uh, that is the all courses page or some category courses page looks like so when you click on this all courses or any of this category course you will see this page we have this title all courses if because i am logged in as an instructor i can simply click on this button create a course and i can create a course from the front end now this is the main section which is divided into two subsections at the left hand side we have this sidebar with really useful widgets for example if you see the first widget is the categories we have few categories showcased over here then we have the filter thing you can filter the course that you're looking for uh, based on the category of the uh, course instructor type whether you want the online offline course and also whether you want the free courses or the paid courses or maybe both the courses then at the bottom we have this featured courses so you can show those courses which is you know top rated or maybe most selling any any type of courses you can show it over here now at the right hand side this is the main column we have all the courses you know you can see this is how it looks the design is really amazing i had already created an lms tutorial few months ago maybe a year ago now that is that was a really amazing tutorial it did really well i'm really happy for that but you know design was not that great but in this video the new updated video on this the design is amazing and it is you know there are many new changes and new and beautiful things added over here now let's see how a single course looks like so whenever someone clicks on any one of these course let's see how the page what is the page that they will see all right guys so whenever someone clicks on a single course this is the page that they are going to see the top section that is the header section is absolutely same then you have this breadcrumb then we also have the title software training reviews as you can see four people have reviewed this uh, course and there are 39 students enrolled in this course now this text that you see uh, this is the short description or you can see you can say something like a tagline of the course this is the featured image you can click or the student can click on this link take this course they can pay this amount whatever the amount is and they can start getting the course or they can just enroll in the course and they can start learning now this is a three months course as you can see you can create custom badges to encourage students you can create certificates you know so that whenever a person completes the course we'll see how to add a lot of things like units videos uh, audios quizzes so whenever some someone completes this course you can give them a certificate amazing option we also have this instructor option which means that you know people can see who is the instructor and when they click on that they will see all the course by the instructor they can follow the instructor they can follow him on his social media platforms and so on then after that if you scroll down this is the uh, long description you can say and then we have the curriculum now this has two different sections as you can see section one introduction and section two advanced computing now basically the first lecture that is uploaded is for free so that anyone can come see a preview lecture so that they can decide whether they want to go with this course or not now as you can see uh, these three are actually videos you have this video icon shown now in the second section the first two are audios because if you see this is the audio icon then we have two videos and we also have a quiz amazing we can create quiz we can you know upload files assignment files and so on 
now at the bottom people uh, can go those who have enrolled in this course they can come over here and give rating and give comment on this particular course that the bottom related courses are shown so that if a person is not uh, interested in this course at least he can purchase some different related course based on rating or anything then the right hand side of this we have the total number of students enrolled related course again uh, this is actually a carousel or a slider you can say then we have the top rated and the course reviews all right so this is how a single course looks like now let me show you how the dashboard page looks like so that uh, this is the front end dashboard uh, remember this is not the back end dashboard we have back end dashboard only for the admin that is you the owner of the website and that the dashboard that i'm going to show you is for the instructor or for the students okay so they don't have to come to the dashboard the back end dashboard they can do everything from the front end now when you click on this and when you click on this dashboard button you will be redirected to the dashboard page all right guys so as you can see this is how the dashboard would look like you have your image beautiful image at the top you have your name username over here then we have some you know some icons or some statistics like number of courses you have uploaded number of quizzes you have created questions you have created all these things you if you have any commission or something you can see those over here number of courses you can you have created you can see all these statistics over here i haven't created anything till now that's why it's all blank but i'll show you how it looks but you will see at the bottom that you can also the instructor can also announce something so suppose i have some uh, announcement to make i can come over here type in that thing and select all students so all the students who have enrolled in my course they will see this announcement really amazing feature this feature is also available on udemy so as i said you earlier i have taken inspiration in terms of design and functionality from udemy and skillshare so you'll see a very similar design and functionalities now let me show you a different version of this page the dashboard page all right so as you can see this is also a dashboard page the reason i'm showing you is that you can see over here we have some statistics showing so this is how the statistics will show now obviously you can change the design of the you know this uh, dashboard you can totally customize it it is 100 percent customizable if you don't like these things these statistics you can remove it or if you want to you know keep them at the bottom you can do that everything is customizable so just don't worry about that now if you want to create a course you can simply do few things for example uh, let me show you this now if you see this page uh, because on the all courses page you can click on this create button create a course button and you will go to that page create a course page or what you can do you can go to your dashboard let me go there here it is here is our dashboard and you can click on this link create a course and let's see what happens when you click on this all right now as you can see when you click on that link you will see this screen so you have to click on this create your own course now everything is as you can see in the front end everything is happening on the front end you can upload the uh, featured image give a title give a description go to next section now we cannot go to the next section until we fill these things but you can go to next section you can put in the prize who can see what all uh, all the courses you can create different quiz different videos and all those things now obviously we'll see these things uh, in detail really detail in the later part of this video all right guys so this was a very short demo of the exact same website that we're going to create the reason we show this demo website so that you get an idea about what you're going to create now obviously these videos are quite long that's why i'm again reminding you that all the time frames are given in the video description below so if you want to skip to some different section you can simply click on that time link and you will be redirected to that section but i would highly recommend you and encourage you to watch the complete tutorial you won't miss anything you won't face any problem and you will learn a lot of things that is what i can guarantee you guys now before proceeding further i would request you guys to click on that red subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future uploads if you like this video i put a lot of efforts in creating these videos obviously you know creating these two three hours long tutorials it's not easy we have to do a lot of research you know we have to do a lot of retakes and so on edit, you know editing rendering a lot of work is in this thing so if you appreciate that you can simply click on that like button and you can share this with your friends and families on different social media like facebook and twitter i would really really appreciate that and throughout the video if you have any doubt any comments any suggestions for me you can leave them in the comments section below i would really you know i really like to read those comments because all the videos that i have created are actually based on suggestions from my subscribers for example 
LMS website also I have created because many people were asking for this tutorial that's why so if you have some idea if you want a special kind of tutorial you can you know just tell me in the comment section below alright guys now with that being said let's get started alright guys now to create any kind of website whether it be a LMS website an online course website e-commerce website any kind of website you need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account a domain name is simply the name or the url of your website for example blogdo.com youtube.com facebook.com these are different domain names okay something that a person will go and type in the url bar to reach your website and the second thing is hosting so hosting is basically a computer which is uh, which has stored all your website data all your website file and that computer is running 24 7 so that whenever a person from any particular country at any given time visits your website they can see your website live okay now both these things are really important for your website for example the speed and performance of your website depend mainly on the hosting so if you have a good hosting your the performance and speed of your website will be really amazing but if you have a crappy hosting you will have a crappy website okay so basically that it is now you don't need to worry about that because i'll show you the hosting that will be perfect for this kind of website because this is not a normal website this is not a simple business website with few you know two three pages or something like that this is a different kind of website okay it has uh, this website has to store all the videos uploaded by these instructors there are different pages there will be many people that who will create a, an account who will stream the video so a lot of things are going on in this particular video so for this we need a special type of or a different type of uh, or a, you know a nice and robust hosting now i'll show you the hosting that i personally use on my websites like blogdo.com and nayashik.com and the hosting that i use on almost all my clients website okay so what you have to do you have to simply open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash tmd now this link is also given in the video description below so you don't have to worry you can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page now if you notice the first thing that you see is this uh, cloud hosting so this is not the normal shared hosting this is the cloud shared hosting now cloud hosting is way more better and secure than the normal hosting all right and you're getting 65 percent off if you follow this link okay i'll show you how you can get some additional discounts if you follow the you know complete tutorial now when you scroll down you will see there are three different pl plans or packages the starter cloud business cloud and the enterprise cloud and you can see the prices and everything now let me go through all the features that this particular hosting is offering so that we know you know we get an idea about what we are getting when we are paying this price okay now if you see the first two features it says six core cpu and six gb of ddr4 ram now just a few moments ago i have explained you that a hosting is nothing but a computer which is running 24 7 and that computer has stored all your website data all your website file now the computer which these guys are running or using to run your website to host your website is a really amazing and a robust and a fast computer that computer is running a 6 core cpu and 6 gb of the latest ddr4 ram that is really amazing now the next feature that you get is unlimited bandwidth which means that there is no limit on the data transfer so you can un upload and download unlimited amount of web uh, data to your website and from your website now this feature is the most important and the most amazing feature ssd space now we are getting ssd space with this particular hosting uh, if you don't know most of the companies out there in the market they provide the hdd space okay that is a really slow you know server now we are getting the ssd space server now if you don't know the difference between ssd and hdd you can simply open a new tab type in ssd versus hdd web hosting you'll see there are many links given over here you can you know many articles written on this you can go through them you'll get a better idea about the difference between the two now what i basically do is i simply click on images so that you know i get uh, a better idea and we can see everything in graphical form let's open the first result now if you see the first result uh, this orange bar is representing the hdd and this green bar is representing the ssd now there are three different criteria over here to compare this the so first one is speed so speed at the bottom it says higher is better now as you can see the speed of ssd is way more better 
and higher than the regular HDD. So in terms of speed, SSD is really amazing and really awesome. Okay, as compared to the regular HDD. The second one is IOPS. Again, at the bottom it says higher is better. And this time we have a difference of about 100 times. Okay, as you can see, the difference is around 100 times difference. And the third one, the third criteria is latency. Now this time, if you notice at the bottom, it says lower is better. And again, you can see the difference is around 100 times. Okay, so we get a better idea that SSD is there is no actually there is no comparison between SSD and HDD. SSD is just way more better. Now, not only that we're getting SSD space, we are getting unlimited SSD space. Now, this is a really amazing option because, you know, there are few companies out there in the market that do provide SSD space, but they provide a very limited space. For example, 10 or 20 or at the max 30 GB of space. But here we're getting unlimited SSD space, which is really amazing. We also get unlimited website hosted, which means that we can host unlimited amount or number of websites on one particular hosting. Now, suppose today you're creating this LMS website. Tomorrow you might be, you know, interested in creating an e-commerce website or maybe a simple business website. So again, tomorrow you don't need to purchase a new hosting. You can host those websites in the same hosting. Okay. So in fact, you can host unlimited amount of website in one single hosting. As you can see, it says unlimited website hosted. So you can host unlimited websites, domains, subdomains in one single hosting. You also get a free domain when you sign up with any one of these plans. Uh, we get premium support. Now, whenever you face any problem, you can simply come over here, click on this chat now and do a live chat with the representative and you will get your problem solved. If you have uh, some, you know, serious problem, some big problem on your hosting, they will ask you to raise a ticket and it will ultimately solve your problem. So support of TMD hosting is really amazing. We also get a free cPanel and light speed web servers, which is better and faster web server. We also get a wildcard SSL. Now, if you notice, if you go to my website, you will see this green pad over here. When you click on this, it says connection is secure. Your information, for example, password or credit card detail is private when it is sent to this website. Now, this is a very, very important thing. This SSL certificate is a very, very important thing. If you don't have an SSL certificate on your website, Google Chrome will say that this website is not secure. Now that is not good for the health of your website. Okay, so we want this SSL certificate so that the Chrome says, you know what, this website is secure and so that we can accept payment. Now we are creating this online course website. Mm, you know, people will come, students will come, they'll purchase a course on our website. So there is a transaction going on. If you don't have the SSL certificate, you cannot accept the payment on your website. So this is a must. Now we are getting wildcard SSL, which means that you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of domains and subdomains. Now, if you go and purchase a single SSL certificate, it will cost you around 40 to hundred dollars. So you can imagine the number, the amount of money you're saving over here on SSL certificates. Now, furthermore, we get optimum cache and memory cache instance of 256 MB. Now, this also improves the performance of the website. We also get a 60 day money back guarantee. Now, I would not recommend you to go with the starter cloud. Uh, I would highly recommend you to go with the business cloud because if you see the difference in terms of price, it's just one single dollar per month. And if you see the difference in terms of features, there is no comparison. Here you're getting two CPU cores here, you're getting four CPU cores, two GB RAM, four GB RAM. And the most important thing is that in starter cloud, you can host only one website. Whereas in business cloud, you can host unlimited amount of websites. You have unlimited SSD space and so on. So I would highly recommend you to go with the business cloud. If you want to you know, start with it, you can simply click on this button, which says get started. Now here you have to enter the domain name that you want for free. You can just type in any domain name that you want for free. So I'm typing in this domain name and you can also select your own extension. Now, most of the time I would highly recommend you to just go with the .com. But if you want to create an organization, you go with .org or if you're creating this website for a very specific country, you can uh, select some spe country specific domain name extension, for example, .ca for Canada dot in for india dot us for obviously united states and so on so just simply type in the domain name select the perfect extension and click on proceed
Now here you have to enter a few basic information like your first name, last name, email address, phone number and all this information, your address, zip code. And after that, you have to enter the payment information. If you want to make payment through credit card, debit card, your ATM card, you can select this credit card, select the type of card you're using. So you must be using Visa or MasterCard if you're, you know, most of the people have this Visa or MasterCard. So just select the type of card you're using, enter the card number, expiry date, CVV number. Now, most of the people in India have the Rupee card, which is not, not accepted over here because that is a local card that is accepted only in India. And this company TMD is based in US. So, you know, Rupee card is not accepted. So I would highly recommend you guys, those are you know, those who are using Rupee card to get a visa or a MasterCard. All right. So that will be accepted over here. You can also make payment through PayPal if you want. Then after that, we have the purchase information. The first thing is that you have to se select your data center location. So I would recommend you to select the one which says nearest to you. For example, here, Singapore says nearest to you. So I'll select Singapore. By default, 12 month period is selected. I also recommend the 12 month period. So don't change anything over here. Now untick this domain privacy, uh, turn it off and make sure nothing is tick mark over here. This will cost you some extra dollars and these are not really important things. So we can just untick this. Now this is the most important thing, promo code. Now here you have to enter Nayar7, N-A-Y-Y-A-R and numeric 7 and click on apply. Now, when you do so, you'll get additional 7% discount on this purchase. So you, you are already getting 65% discount. And when you enter this coupon, you're getting 7% additional discount. Now you can tick mark this. I agree to TMD terms of service and click on checkout. All right. Now, when you click on that checkout button, you will receive a mail from TMD hosting, which would look something like this. Now, this is a very, very important mail because it has some really important and crucial information about your website and about your hosting. Now, for example, if you see it has your FTP C panel username, password, it has your C you know, server IP, your name server. So these are some really important and crucial informations. What you could do is you could simply take a printout of this copy and paste it under, you know, word file or do anything. If you have multiple email addresses, you can, you know, just forward this to those different email addresses. Just make sure all the information over here is safe and secure. Now, what you have to do, you have to click on this link at the bottom control panel link, open this link in a new tab. Now copy your username and password from here and paste it over here and click on login. We have purchased the domain and hosting. Now it's time to install WordPress on the particular domain. All right. So what you have to do, there are many different options. You, sh you should just ignore everything. Uh, you can just go at the bottom and click on WordPress. Now click on install. Now, uh, first thing that you have to do is you have to select HTTPS. Okay. Uh, if you want this SSL certificate, you must have this uh, thing selected HTTPS. There are two options HTTP and HTTPS. So select the one with the extension S. So select that. Now select the domain name. Now if you're creating a website for the first time, you'll see only one domain name. But because I have to create different domains, different dom uh, demos uh, for different tutorials, I have to create many subdomains and domains. All right. But if you're doing this for the first time, you should see only one domain name over there. Now in directory WP is already typed in delete it. Okay. Just make sure this thing is blank. Now, after that, we have the site settings. You can change your site name and site description in the site name. You can uh, you know, just type in your website name like blog dude, uh, or anything, your company name, your name, uh, basically the site name in the site description, you can type some description about your website. For example, we can type LMS and uh, you know, online course website. All right. If you have any tagline of your company, you can put that as well in the site description. Then after that, we have to change the admin username and password. Very, very important. So let me change this thing. Now, as you can see, if you notice one thing, I'm using uh, uppercase letters like capital letters, capital N and S, and I am also using an underscore. Okay. So make sure to select a username uh, which has, you know, numbers, uh, capital, small letters, and some special characters like this. Okay. Now let me put in the password. All right. Now also make sure to change the admin email. Okay. Put in your own email address over here. Now scroll down to the bottom and click on install. 
All right, now it is successfully installed. Now what you have to do, you have to open this second link, administrative URL in a new tab. And we can cancel uh, this thing. Now click on dismiss and log out. All right, now this is the dashboard of your website. This is the place from where you'll control your website. Okay, so whatever you wanna do, if you wanna create a new page, new user, new course, anything, you can do that from here. If you wanna delete something, if you wanna change the design of your website, add or delete some functionality from your website, you will do it from here, okay? So whenever you want to come to this page, your dashboard page, you simply type in your website name. If you see the URL, you simply type in your website name, put a forward slash WP hyphen admin, okay? So after your domain name, type in forward slash WP hyphen admin, and you will come on and land on this particular page. Now, there are a few options at the left hand side. We'll see these uh, one by one later on when we start creating the website. We'll see everything later, uh, one by one, okay? Now, first of all, what you have to do, you have to click on appearance. Now, if you see there are three themes already installed, okay? Now, theme, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, theme is basically the design of your website. For example, by default, 2017 theme is, uh, you know, installed over here. Let me show you the website, uh, our website. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, this is how our website looks. Now that is because we are using this theme, 2017 theme. And as you can see, it looks exactly like this image. All right, now we have to change the design. First of all, let's delete all these extra themes. We don't require them. All right, so we have deleted them. Now you can click on plugins. Now theme uh, is the design. So whenever you want to change the uh, design of your website, you change the theme and plugin is something that adds some extra functionalities to your website. For example, if you wanna, you know, if you want to integrate or add the e-commerce features on your website, you use a plugin called WooCommerce, okay? That will add all the e-commerce features like adding to cart, doing checkout, payment, and all those things. So that is basically what plugins are. Now, first of all, let me deactivate this plugin and let's tick mark over here, select bulk action and select delete. Now we are deleting all these three plugins because we don't need them. We don't require them. Okay. Now what do you have to do? We have to change the style or the design of our website. Okay. So for that, we need a special type of, you know, theme. Okay. Which is called WP LMS. WP LMS is an amazing and number one theme for uh, LMS websites or online course websites. And not only that, you're getting a theme with that theme, you get so many premium plugins for free. Okay. So you'll get visual composer, revolution slider, so many amazing and, you know, really amazing plugins, premium plugins for free so that you can design your website in a much better way. And it will, that plugin will add all these functionalities to create a course and all these things. All right. So if you want to get that plugin, you can simply open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com forward slash WP LMS. Now this link is also given in the video description below. So you can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. All right. Now, as you can see now, the price, I guess is around $60. I don't know. I have already purchased it. So you'll see that price over here. You ha you'll see two buttons, uh, buy now and add to cart you can simply click on that buy now button and purchase this theme okay this is the wp lms theme and once you have purchased it you can hover over here under your username click on downloads you'll see your theme over here wp lms learning management system now click on download and click on all files and documentation now this will download this zip file for you but i'm canceling this because i have already downloaded this now, let me show you what happens after this. All right, so this is the file that got downloaded, the zip file. What do you have to do? You have to right click on this and click on extract files. Basically, you have to unzip this file. So when you do that, when you unzip this file, you get a new folder with the same name. Okay, this is the folder. And under that, you have few files and you have this folder WP LMS. Now in that folder, uh, this file will not be present WPLMS zip file. You'll just have these two folders WPLMS and Mac uh, OS X. Now what you have to do, you have to right click on this WPLMS folder and click on add to archive and select zip file. Okay. And click on OK. Now this will make a zip file of this folder and it would look something like this. Now this is the file that we have to you know upload on our website. So let's do that. Let's go to our dashboard. Let's click on appearance. Now click on add new. 
upload theme uh, choose file and this is the file select this file click on open and click on install now now if you're using google chrome you can see the progress at the bottom left corner of your website four percent five percent so this will take few seconds so let's wait All right guys, now as you can see the theme is successfully installed. Now we have to activate the theme. So simply click on this link, activate. Now you'll see this screen. This is just a quick setup. So they will quickly set up the theme. They will, you know, very quickly create few pages for you, very necessary pages. So you have to click on this button, install using setup wizard, this blue button. Now uh, you'll see this thing, uh, except for this thing, everything should be tick mark and this is not a problem. So you can just uh, ignore this and click on let's go. Now from here we have to select all the functionalities that we want on our website. So we want the LMS functionalities, uh, e-learning and course management, uh, which will enable us to create courses and all these things. We also want to enable the e-commerce functionality so that people can make payment and purchase different courses. We also want the slider functionality, visual composer, which is also important. So make sure to tick mark this because visual composer is actually a page builder. So we don't have to do any coding. We can do some, you know, drag and drop to create our website and also tick mark this drive. Okay. So that people can share files. Uh, instructor can also upload few files and students can up, you know, download those files. Um, maybe some, you know, uh, re course related files or something like that. So enable this drive and rest everything should be fine. You can enable the custom badges. If you want to, if you want all these uh, features on your website, if you want to create events also, you can tick mark this. If you want to have discussion forums, you can tick mark this as well. If you want to have membership on your website, you can tick mark this. Okay. So for, but basically you have to tick mark these things, LMS, e-commerce, Slido, visual composer, drive and custom badges. Now you can ignore the custom badges as well, but we are just, you know, uh, just, you know, getting this thing. We are just including it. Now click on continue. Now based on the functionalities that you have selected in the previous screen, you'll see all the plugins that you have to install. So we have to install these plugins. So click on continue. It will start installing and activating plugins one by one. I guess now many times it happens that when you come to this slider revolution, when slider revolution starts installing, uh, this will just hang up and it will, it, it won't proceed further. This is how it looks. Okay. Now what you can do, you can simply refresh that page uh, when this happens to you. Now, as you can see that is gone. Now we can click on continue and it will continue uh, loading everything very quickly. Okay. That problem is solved now. Now, as you can see, this is also success. Now, if you see some Ajax error instead of success, no problem. Just go ahead. It is just some, uh, I don't know, some bug or something, but there's no problem with that. You can just proceed further. Now the final plugin WooCommerce is getting installed and activated. And after that, uh, it will automatically, you know, make, bring you to this page. Or uh, you simply have to click on this continue and it will do some more it will create few pages for you. For example, the registration, registration pages, directory pages, create course and post course pages. Okay. So you simply have to click on continue. Now you have to select this style of your website. So there are many different styles available. You can simply uh, click on this link, uh, open link in a new tab. You'll see that style. So if you want to uh, have that kind of style on your website, you can select that and click on continue. Now for me, because I want to show you everything from scratch, I'll click on skip this step. Now, if you want to install all the demo data on your website, you can tick mark everything and click on continue. It will install all the demo data on your website. But again, I want to show you everything from scratch, from beginning, how everything is done from uh, step by step. That's why I'll skip this step. But if you want to have all the data, demo data on your website automatically, you can click on continue. I'll click on skip this step. Now you can uh, upload your website logo right from here. You can select change the skin. You can change the primary color. For example, the primary color over here is pink uh, and by default it is blue. So you can change that primary color, primary text color and everything. But obviously you can do these changes later on as well. So it's not really important right now. You can click on continue for now. 
All right, now you'll see this screen, which means everything is done. Now we can click on this link at the bottom, return to WordPress dashboard. Now let me refresh this page. Let's see how it looks. Now, as you can see, this is how it looks. Primary color, as you can see, is blue. You'll see this blue everywhere, blue button and all these things. Now, first thing that we need to do is we need to change this uh, skin. Okay, we need to change the design, I would say. Okay. So what do you have to do? You will see there are many new things available now at the left hand side. That is because of all the plugins that we have installed. Now you have to hover this WP LMS and click on demo switcher. You will see all these skins. Uh, select this one, uh, the second one and click on import customizer. Just click on that. You will see this tick mark. Go at the bottom and click on save changes. Now the only thing that this does is let me refresh this page. It just changes few things like it changes the basic color. As you can see, the basic primary color is changed to pink and uh, the header thing, the uh, default header style is changed to transparent and uh, only few very basic changes have been done. So not a problem over here. Now we can come back to the dashboard and click on this dashboard link. Now we need to run this setup wizard, WooCommerce setup wizard. So this will create few pages for us, WooCommerce pages like checkout page and all those pages. Very, very important. So make sure to click on this run this setup wizard. Now this is a quick setup. Uh, we can do some these uh, WooCommerce settings in detail later on in this video. Now, first of all, you have to change, uh, select your current uh, country. So I'll select India from here. All right. And put in your address. I'll just type in Mumbai everywhere and change the state name to Maharashtra. You can uh, select the currency. I'm selecting USD United States dollars. You can select Indian rupees or something else, whatever you like. Now scroll down and click on let's go. Now make sure PayPal is selected. Now the most uh, amazing thing about WP LMS is that, you know, they are based on WooCommerce. Now the benefit of that is that you can use any payment gateway. For example, we have PayPal, we have Stripe, we have few local payment gateways. Like in India, we have Paytm, PayU Money, Razorpay, CC Avenue, hundreds of different payment gateways. So that is the beauty of WooCommerce. You can use any payment gateway on your website for free. Now, oh, when that when a website is not based on WooCommerce, what they will do is, for example, uh, plugins like Lifter LMS and those those what they do is they will sell you those payment gateways separately as add on. For example, uh, if you want to enable Stripe on your website, they will charge you around hundred dollars per annum. So that doesn't make any sense to me. If you, you can simply, you know, make your website, uh, make your theme, make your plugin based on WooCommerce and we can use these payment gateways and so many things for free. So here it is based on WooCommerce. So that is a great thing. So we'll be using PayPal. Obviously you can use any payment gateway according to your choice. I'm, I'll be using PayPal because that is accepted uh, all wide, worldwide. Most of the countries accept PayPal and you can also make payment through credit card and debit card. So that is not an issue. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can also make payment or the customer can also make payment through their credit card and debit card. All right. Now click on continue. Now we have the shipping option. Uh, we can simply disable it because we are not selling any uh, physical product that needs to be shipped. We are selling digital courses. So no need for all this shipping option. We can simply click on continue. And we don't need this MailChimp. We'll be using MailChimp, but not this one. So you can untick this and click on skip this step. They will uh, recommend you this Jetpack plugin. Again, you have to skip this step. But I have seen that even if you click on that uh, skip this step, Jetpack will get installed. So that is not a good thing. But uh, at the end, you will see this link uh, visit dashboard. Let's click on this. All right. Now, when you scroll down, you will see that Jetpack is installed, as I said you. So we don't need this plugin. So we can click on plugins. And let's just uninstall it. Scroll down and uh, here it is jetpack by wordpress.com deactivate it. And now let's delete it. All right, so it is successfully deleted. Now let's do few basic settings. First, let's 
you know just cut all these notifications all right now let's go to dashboard first of all now whenever you come to this page this is the dashboard that you'll see and as you can see there are so many things that we don't require the only thing that i want on my dashboard is this woocommerce status so that i can see how many courses are sold on my website how many uh, sales did i make how what is my commission or how much did i make uh, in terms of money okay so i am interested in only this woocommerce status i'm not in interested in all these things so i can dismiss these things from here all right now if you want to disable these uh, widgets you can click on this screen options and untick everything uh, except for this thing woocommerce status untick everything all right now as you can see this looks much cleaner we have only one widget that we are interested in all right now after that let's see lms settings really important settings so you can simply hover this lms and click on settings All right, now, first of all, this is the general setting. So user login and registration setting. Whenever a student logs in, which page do you want them to be redirected to? So we can select the home page or the dashboard page. For the instructor, surely the dashboard page. So whenever they, they are logged in, uh, whenever some instructor log in, we want them to see the dashboard page, which is uh, this page, let's see. All right, this page. So whenever they log in, we want them to be redirected to this page. Uh, enable one session per user tick mark this so that uh, whenever a person creates a account on our website they can enable or open their website uh, only from one website only from one ip address at a time so they cannot open the same account from 10 different computers at the same time if you do if you're not interested in this you can simply untick this not a problem uh, enable message to instructor in course page uh, tick mark this so this will enable the students to contact the instructor enable create course button in instructor profile in menu tick mark this so that you know a person or the instructor can see this option create a course option so that they can click on that and create a course from the front end all right so very important now uh, you can also uh, tick mark this show woocommerce uh, account in profile you can create a terms and conditions page and you can uh, just select that page from here so that will be your default terms and conditions page now if you want to use a different menu a separate menu for a student and instructors you can tick mark these things like a uh, student menu instructor menu all right now we don't tick mark this free uh, assign free courses to students on account activation not required uh, make sure everything is uh, set visibility set to everyone which is public hide instructor in whole uh, whole website not required this is uh, only for single instructor we are creating a multi instructor website change pre required course not required hide member section yeah we want to do this so make sure to tick mark this hide member section in single course page let me explain you why let me open a single course so let me select any course now all right, for example, if you see this course, uh, let me show you, let's scroll down. You have this members section. Now this is not at all required. It's just, uh, I don't know why it is so even present over here because there's nothing in that. So make sure to hide this thing. Now show curriculum below course description, tick mark this so that we can see our person can see this curriculum, this lectures just below this description now if you don't tick mark this uh, you will see a menu like this members activity so you'll have one menu which says curriculum and a person has to click on that to see these lectures so we don't want that we want this to be shown below course description so make sure this is tick mark and uh, free unit should only be accessible to logged in members very important so that you know even if the course is free a person can enroll in that course or see that course or you know see all the videos in that course only if they are logged in to the website so very important now show course badges and certificate in pop-up on course detail tick mark this so that a person can see that this uh, you'll get a course badge you'll get a course certificate with this course okay so important Open login form for non uh, logged in users uh, when they click on take this course, tick mark this and this and also this one. So whenever suppose I'm not logged in, I'm just visiting this website for the first time. I'm not yet uh, not yet registered. If I 
click on this course or uh, now i'm getting this start course but if i at, at that time i'll see i'll see take this course so when i click on that button i'll get a pop up you know sign in or sign up only then you can use or enroll in this course so that is important now show a course timeline according style uh, tick mark this so that you can see this style as you can see this is the according style so you can tick mark this one and the rest everything is not required or not uh, you know we we cannot do most of the settings for, for now so we can simply click on save settings now there is one more option over here uh, if you see the commissions let's see now because i don't have any instructor uh, right now i cannot set their commission but whenever a person creates an instructor account on our website we can set a commission for that. For example, you'll see the course name or uh, name of the instructor and then you'll see the percentage. So in that percentage box, you'll have to enter. For example, if you want to give that instructor 80% of the price, you can type in 80. Now, the reason I'm showing you this thing right now, because no one has, uh, we don't even have a single instructor, but still I'm showing you this because sometimes I've, you know, just forget to include these things to show how you can set commission and these so that is the reason i'm showing you uh, just this thing uh, before even having any instructor all right now let's do one thing uh, let's open this website in a new incognito window let's see how it looks all right so this is how our website is looking now if you go to this website slash register let's see now this is the registration page now oh, these these are all the required fields default fields username email uh, choose a password in name and only this much you can add or subtract few fields from here okay so that whenever a person wants to create an account on your website whatever you information you want from them you can add those fields over here let me show you how you can do that so you can come back to this page your main dashboard and you will see this option from the left hand side you will see users how are users and click on profile fields. Now, as you can see, name is already present, so we can add some more fields. So let me click on add new field. Now, suppose if you want to give them a field for biography. Okay, so just type in the bio in the title and in the description, you have to type in something that they will read and they can understand what they have to fill in over here. So you can type in something like, uh, 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 type in something about yourself something like that okay fine and what type of box is this or what type of field is this so this is a multi-line field which is over multi-line text area so we, because the person is going to type his biography or something about himself though that space should be bigger it should not be like this one uh, like this single line field okay because here only name is required but in biography few lines will be required so we are selecting multi-line text area all right now visibility set this to everyone so that everyone can see uh, a person's biography instructor's biography and requirement whether it is required or not you can set that and click on publish or update all right now as you can see we have a name we have a biography now add one more very important obviously you can add a lot of things over here like date of birth and whatever you re require but there is one thing which is very important and that is uh this one sign up as okay so how do you uh do you want to sign up in the description you can type like this do you want to sign up as an instructor or as a student all right fine now uh, for this we want to select this one uh, drop down select box and first option should be student and we can add another option and type in instructor and the default value we want uh, to be a uh, student okay and this is required for sure and click on save now let's do one thing let's go back to that incognito window let's refresh this page 
Now, as you can see, we have this biography option and we also have the sign up as option. All right. Now, let me create a dummy account or a new account. Uh, let me sign up as an instructor and let me show you in the beginning how to create a course from the front end. OK, basically, because that is the most important part of this video. So let's do that in, uh, in the beginning itself. OK, so I'm selecting a username, uh, email address is this a uh, password. name uh, biography I'm just typing in in my name few times all right now sign up as I want to sign up as instructor now click on complete sign up now as you can see you have successfully created your account now to begin installing this site you need to activate your account via the email we have sent you to your email address okay so let me open my email address. Let's see whether we have received that code or not. All right. Now, as you can see under updates, if you see, we have this thing, activate your account, click on this link. Let's cut all these things. Now, as you can see, you have this activation key, simply click on this activate button and it will activate your account. Now, as you can see, our account is now active. And now because we have said this, if you remember in the settings, we have said, uh, logged in instructor the landing page should be the dashboard and that is why the person is uh, directly land landed to the dashboard now still this person is not a instructor he's still a student okay so no one can simply come on our website and become an instructor so if you want to make this person instructor whenever a new person signs up on your website creates an account on your website you will receive the email on your email address that a person has registered on your website so that you can simply go to all users and you can see new person has registered. Now you can click on extended and you will see all the fields that person has filled. For example, for name that person has filled in John Doe for, for biography that person is filled in this and for sign up as this person has filled in instructor. So this person wants to become an instructor so we can click on profile. Now we can scroll down and change his role to instructor and click on update user. All right, now let's go over here. Let me refresh this page. Now let me just sign out a uh, log out from this account. All right, and let me sign in. So right now you cannot see anything, but if you see there is something over here, when I click on this, we get this, uh, pop up so basically it is this okay let me show you it is this thing uh, but because it is white we cannot see it right now let me log in with this new account that i've just created click on login now as you can see we are logged in and just uh, you know redirected directly to the dashboard page now let me create a course let me show you how you or any instructor can create a course from the front end now if you notice one thing for the instructor we are seeing this top area we this is not a good thing okay we uh, because if this area is present the person can go to the dashboard and we don't want them to be going to the back end we want them to do everything from the front end so we'll see how to get rid of this first let's create a course let's see how a course can be created now before that if you can set a uh, default you know categories for that you that you can have for your person to choose uh, for example let me explain you this when you come to your dashboard when you have all these lms you will see course category quiz type and unit tag so let's click on course category now you can create few categories that a person has to select for creating a course for example uh, let's select technology and you can add an image so that you know that image will be shown on the home page let me show you very quickly now if you see uh, these are all our categories and as you can see the, they all have some image in the background so you can set that image over here let me click on this we don't have anything in the uh, media library we can upload these files again i'm saying uh, you'll see a link in the video description below you can click on that link and you will you can download all the images files that i have used in this particular video to create this website for free okay so let me show you you will get a zip file and in that zip file you'll have this these files like certificate css home page 
you will also have this media folder and in that media folder right now there are a lot of files but um you will see this image okay image 6 uh, most of the files will not be there like this chrome files i by mistakenly downloaded it over here okay so you will but you will see this image let me sh just zoom in this thing now you'll see this image you can select this image or you can select this image uh, so i'm selecting this one image 6 click on open now you can set this image as the category image and it will show up over here all right now let's click on uh, use image and click on add new category okay so we have created a new category technology similarly you can create some more categories like uh, health maybe all right and you can change the thumbnail uh, for that as well all right so this is how you will create a category and when an instructor will start creating a course he will have to select these categories or or suppose uh, if he doesn't find the category of to which his particular course belongs he can create his own category now similarly you can create different categories for quiz and unit uh, you'll see this quiz type option click on this quiz and suppose for quiz also we want to create a category called technology related quiz so click on add new quiz type and uh, maybe ai related quiz all right and for unit also let's click on uh, unit tag and let's you know different categories for unit as well you will see what these units are okay so i have created a new category for unit technology now let's come back to this let's click on create a course and remember this is the incognito window and i am not the administrator over here i am an instructor and we'll see how a course can be created from the front end. So click on create a course button. All right, you'll see this uh, option, create your own course. Click on this. First of all, you have to give a title. Uh, I'm giving a title of WordPress e-commerce course, maybe. And you have to remember this title, okay? Whatever title you're giving. So I'm giving this title WordPress e-commerce course. Remember this. Now select a category health and technology that we have just created now my uh, website basically doesn't fit in these categories so i can click on add new to add a new category and i'll add a category wordpress and i can add an image as the featured image so i'll select this image click on set uh, as featured image and i can add a video in the course all right so let me upload a video let me find some video let me select this video first clone trial all right now let me click on select uh, you can enter a short uh, description so let me do one thing let me click on lipsim.com now this is a website from where you can get dummy text uh, lorem ipsum text so for the short description let me copy this much paste it over here now click on add full description let's uh, copy some more text and put it under long description or full description and click on create course all right now it will give you this pop-up this will create a new course in this website do you want to continue yes create a new course now we have few course uh, settings like maximum course duration uh, if you click or, or if you are just how all this question mark you can see the course in days this is the maximum duration with which the uh, student should complete the course uh, you can use 9999 for unlimited so uh, make sure to use this 9999 so there is no limit for course creation so person can create complete this course uh you know anytime so not uh, no limit on that if you want to put some limit in days you'll have to select days or weeks or months whatever you have selected now is there a prerequisite course which means that to enter or to enroll in this course you have to have completed some previous course so you have to enter that course name over here now previous unit quiz quiz must be completed before next unit or quiz access not required now uh, set course type this is an online course a full unit in curriculum hide this these are all for offline courses you can see these options are for offline course so you can just hide these things or you can just ignore these things now course evaluation select automatic now course certificate uh for now let's click on disable because we haven't created any certificate for now but uh, later on in this video we'll see how to create a certificate and after that your instructors can click on enable and uh, set how many ma percentage a person must get to get this certificate and they can select the template of the certificate 
but for now we can just disable it because we haven't created one now course badge we can enable this uh suppose a, a instructor give can give you know custom badges to different people for different work for example set excellent uh, excellence badge course for example a person if if the person is getting above 90 out of 100 they will get the excellence badge and for the badge title maybe i can type in super student all right and course image uh, this image is already present whenever you create a website create this website you will see this image is already present so we can select this image and click on add course badge so this can be that badge so retakes how uh, times a student can retake this course so i'm not entering any of this number because if you uh, enter zero it will disable it so that is what we want we want to disable it so there is no limit on how many times a person can retake this course all right so make sure zero is selected over here maximum seats in course again select zero to disable it you know uh, because uh, there is no maximum amount of students that we can enroll any num amount of or any number of students can enroll in this particular course now we can type in all the instruction instructions that you want uh, a student to read before entering this course and after course after a student has completed this course you can type in what they want to see you can type in some message for them and click on save settings and click on save course all right now here we have to create a curriculum all right so this is the important part first of all we have to create a section uh, if you see the demo website if you remember we had two sections so uh, introduction and in introduction we had a few lectures then we have another section we have few lectures and quizzes okay so first let's create a section called introduction all right and in that particular section i want to create a unit so a unit is like a lecture so you can create any unit so unit can be a video lecture audio lecture or just some text or anything like that so let's see what all option do we have we, we can click on create new unit you can give a title to this unit so maybe i'll give it a title of wordpress uh, unit one all right obviously you don't have to give this kind of title uh, you have some you know you have to give a proper title but i'm giving this title click on create unit now you'll see this unit thing over here wordpress unit one you can click on this pencil button to edit it further so this is the title you can select the category to which this title belongs or this unit belongs now it does not belong to technology category so i'll click on add new and i'll type in wordpress now categories are different for different for example if you remember we have already set wordpress as a category but that for that was for course that category was for course okay so that was course category now this is unit category these are two different things now under content you can type in uh, many things like you can add uh, text you can add youtube uh, links for videos you can embed videos from youtube vimeo or you can just upload the video file that you have just used so click on add media you'll see the video file that you have just uploaded and click on insert into post all right so this is as you can see this is now embedded so you have this text plus we have this video as well now let's click on settings let's see what all settings are present so unit description is quite small description so i need uh, don't need this much text this is fine now unit type what type of unit is this audio video podcast or general so now this is a video because we have added this video thing over here now is this a free unit no it's not so i'll click on hide now how much what is the duration of this unit or this video so it is 10 minutes so i'll select minutes instead of seconds now unit forum no form you can add some files some attachments which if there is some files related to this particular you know unit or this particular lecture which is not the case for us so we can simply click on save again click on save in this pop-up okay so it says setting save now click on close all right so that is saved you can click on this uh, i icon to preview this thing and click on close okay so that is working fine uh, you can again click on this just to make sure that you know as you can see this is the unit the text and the video is present and let's now add a quiz so click on this add quiz create a new quiz quiz title maybe i'll type in wp quiz 
click on create quiz now this quiz is created again you can uh, click on this pencil button select a category we have created this ai and technology category again i'll add my own category uh, wp quiz all right wordpress related quiz now you have to enter the content over here so i'll just enter some dummy text now scroll down click on settings quiz subtitle i'll just enter some more dummy text or just this much maybe all right so this is basically just sub some subtitle now connected course uh here you have to type in the title of the course which you have set at the beginning which was wordpress e-commerce course here it is when you type wordpress you see this wordpress e-commerce course select that now a quiz duration is 10 minutes so a person can you know play this quiz for 10 minutes and so i'll select 10 and minutes auto evaluation i want to select show so that person can uh, you know automatically see whether the answer was right or wrong number of extra quiz retakes so a person can take uh, retake this quiz how many times maybe 100 times 10 times one times okay post quiz message so after the person has completed the quiz you can give them some message show results after submission yes i want to show that add check answers switch yes show dynamic quiz or randomized quiz questions you can select these options as well now let's create a question for this quiz so click on this question and click on create new question now this is wp question one wpq1 you can add a new tag for this one again i'm adding a tag of wordpress now what type of question is this true or false multiple choice multiple correct now this is multiple choice maybe all right so select that multiple choice click on create question you'll see this wp question one over here click on this pencil button first you can give some marks for so suppose this question is for 10 marks so i'll give this 10 marks over here now you have to type in the question statement so what is a wordpress maybe this is a question and let's uh, scroll down because this is a multiple choice we will get few options like first option can be cms wordpress is a cms wordpress second option website wordpress is a, a blog okay maybe only three option i'll cut the fourth one so you should know the correct answer is one wordpress is a cms content management system okay so that is the answer hint if you want to give some hint i'll just give the answer as the hint that's stupid but i'm just doing that okay uh, answer explanation you can if uh, you can some write some type some explanation about this particular answer now you can scroll down click on save and this will save this particular quiz all right and after that we can just close this thing all right again click on save so just to make sure all the changes are saved all right now click on close all right so we have a section uh, we have a unit we have a quiz similarly you can add some more questions more units more quizzes and after that once you're done with this click on save curriculum click on save course now we have to set the pricing now is this a free course no it's not a free course so i'm selecting no uh, select a product so we have to click on create a new product uh, and let's give it a title of the same title that we have given it's not necessary to give a same title but i'm just giving uh, the same title okay wordpress e-commerce course now the basic price i want to the base price i want this to be set to 150 dollars and i'm giving this course at a sale price of 50 dollars all right and full duration click on create product okay so the price is now set do you want to make the first section free you basically have to set yes but i'm setting this to no because there is only one section in my course invite student application for course you can set this to hide and click on save pricing click on save course now you can send this for approval now whenever a person or instructor creates a course it is not immediately published on your website because you know sometimes people just fool or try to fool the person they just enter anything they download videos from youtube many times it happens on udemy you have you know in uh, people downloading videos from youtube and creating a course and making some money and by the time the you know original owner or the creator knows about this already the person has you know earned few monies have made some sales all right so uh, 
it's not it's 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 a bad idea to simply publish the video once it is completed some publish the course once the person submits it okay so we will approve the admin will approve the course if it if he finds that everything is fine he can publish it manually now click on save for uh, send for approval click on save course now the person can view this course how it is looking let's click on view course whether everything was fine or not so this is the course title no students till now this is the subtitle uh pricing take this course unlimited access course badge this is the uh, instructor you can contact this instructor or uh, you can see the curriculum let's see this uh unit wordpress unit one you can see the text you have the video you can play this video as well now let's click on back like we also had a quiz so let's see that quiz uh click on this as you can see here is the quiz you can, if I, I suppose I want to enter this quiz, so I'll select the selected uh, question one. It says uh, start quiz to begin quiz. Let's click on start quiz. Now, what is WordPress? My answer is CMS. Click on check answer. Right. And we get 10 points or 10 marks for that. Now I want to submit this. Click on submit. Click on confirm. Let's see what happens. All right. So total marks 10 out of 10 all right now we can take a retake, retake this quiz and so on so this is working absolutely fine all right now let me cancel this from from here because this is now over we don't have anything to do with over here now what happens is whenever someone uh, has submitted some new course you'll get a notification on your email address that this instructor has submitted a course on your website go ahead uh, recheck it or just uh, you know, check whether everything is fine and approve or disapprove it. So you'll see that course under LMS. So hover LMS and click on all courses. Now, as you can see, it is still pending. Okay, WordPress e-commerce course by John Doe, WordPress under WordPress category and everything. You can go ahead, click on edit. You can see all the information from here. You will see all this text or uh, category that is this belongs to all the thing that the person has selected everything is available over here okay if you see this is the uh, unit and all those things if you click on this you will go to that particular unit okay this is the unit you can see this video and all everything is present over here all right now i'm clicking on this back button so suppose i find everything is uh, proper over here i can approve this course i can click on publish now this course will be published on our website which is amazing all right so this is this is the complete process of how a instructor or you even you as an admin can create a course you're following the same process okay it's if you you have seen this it's such a nice process everything is done on front end and you don't have to come to this page the dashboard page to create the course now one more thing is left now one more thing is left if you remember when we were using that instructor page uh, we could see this black bar at the top and the person could get to the dashboard okay so that was not a good idea so we'll see how to disable this for you know, how to disable this top bar so for that what you have to do you have to uh, hover plugins and click on add new now here search for hide admin bar okay so just type in hide admin bar and you will see this plugin hide admin bar by Shelby Denike Denike. I don't know. I'm sorry. I pronounced it wrong, I guess. So just install this plugin hide admin bar. Now let's activate it. All right. Now let me come over here. Let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see, that admin bar is gone for everyone. OK, so this is a great idea. Alright guys, so with this we have seen how to do the main and the most important thing. Now it's time to create the home page. We'll see how to create this beautiful home page and it's really easy. But before that I need some rest because I'm speaking for more than one hour. So I need some rest. So I'll see you guys, you know, after a few seconds, few minutes, but don't worry, you don't have to wait for that few minutes. You can see the continuous video, obviously. Alright guys, so I'm back now. Let's start creating the home page and obviously first we'll have to create a page. So from the left hand side, you'll see these pages. How over that and click on add new. Uh, let's give it a title of home. So let's type in home. All right. Now from the template, select no title and the rest everything's fine. Just click on publish. 
Now let's open this page. Let's uh, you'll see this view page link. Open this in a new tab. Now, as you can see, this is how the home page looks like quite blank. But if you see, we have a problem. It says uh, your website name slash home. And this is actually the home page. If you go to the home page to see how it looks, this is how it looks. All right, so we don't want this to be home page. We want this that we have just created as our home page and we want to remove this slash home. It's quite easy. Come back to your dashboard, hover settings and click on reading. Now you'll see this your home page display uh, by default. Your latest post is selected. Select this one, second one, a static page so that we can set a static page, a page of our choice as the home page. Now select this one and select the home uh, that you have just created and click on save changes. Now let's come over here. Let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see that slash home is gone and we are still on the same page. Now let's come over here. This was the earlier home page. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see, this is changed and this is now our home page, right? Now we can simply go to pages again and uh, let's select this home, click on edit and let's start creating the home page. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll click on this button, which says back end editor. Now this will enable this thing, this beautiful page builder so that we don't have to do any coding. We can do everything, you know, using simple drag and drop. So let's see how everything is done. Now, first of all, we'll have to create this section, this top section. Okay. We have a image in the background. We have this beautiful text and all those things. So let me first copy this text and come over here. Click on add element. The first thing is that we have to add a row. So whenever we start creating uh, a section, a new section, we first add a row and in that row, we add all the elements. If you don't understand that, don't worry, you'll uh, understand everything in much more detail when we start, you know, when we do everything step by step. So first thing we have added a row in that row, we have to add this text. Okay. So for to add this text, we'll click on this plus button, which is inside this row and we'll search for an element called text block which is over here. So click on this text block. Now you can just select everything, delete it and type in anything that you want. So I want to type in this learn, collaborate, validate. All right. And after that, I want to type in this thing, join 47 million students. All right. So I'll copy it and paste it over here. Fine. Now, if you see uh, both the uh, the style of both this text is different. First of all, it is a uh, center line and the size and color is also different. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll select everything. I'll click on this one align center. It will be center align for the first text. I'll uh, select this thing and I'll select head one heading one. Okay. This will increase the size. Now I'll select the second text and I'll select heading three. All right. This will increase the size of this text, but it will be smaller than the heading one, obviously. But I want to increase the size of the heading one further. So if you want to do the same thing, there's a very simple trick. You can click on this uh, text section. You'll see this style is applied CSS style. Now let what what you can do. You can click on over here just after this semicolon. You can type in this thing. Now I'll try to zoom in this so that you can see everything uh, properly uh, because you know we are going to require this thing uh, many times in this particular page. Now after this, you have to type in font uh, size. All right, then put a colon and after that you can type uh, whatever size of font you want. So I want 64 pixels. And once you're done with this, put a semicolon to end this style. Okay. So this is the thing that you have to type font hyphen size colon 64 pixels. All right. Now, when you click on pixel uh, visual, you'll see the, this size is increased. Now this is quite a big size. All right. And this is the small size, which is fine. Now, after that, again, enter to come to next line and we have to add this thing, this button. So let's do that. Come over here to add this button. We have this beautiful thing called short codes. You'll see this wipe short codes. Click on this and select buttons, which is over here. Now, first of all, where do we want this button to link? So we want this button to link to the register page. So I'll copy my uh, website address, paste it over here, put a forward slash and type in register so that whenever a person clicks on this button, they will be re redirected to the register page. Now for the button style, I want primary and button anchor what the button says. So here the button says start a free trial. So I'll type in start a free trial. All right. Now click on insert short code. 
Now I want to make this button a uh, center align. So I'll select this, click on align center. Now let's click on save changes and click on update. Come over here. Let's refresh this page. Let's see the changes. All right. Now, as you can see, this looks quite similar. Most of the things are present. We have the text. We have this text. We also have the button. All right. Looking quite good. But uh, if you notice one thing, we have to change the color of the text and we have to you know, also change the image in the background. Let's do these things. Now, first of all, I'll add an image in the background so that we can see the text because if I change the color of the text to white, it will disappear because the background at present is also white. So first, let's add the image in the background. All right. Now let's scroll down. Now click on this pencil button uh, for the row. And let's scroll down and select this thing, uh, which is over here parallax. Select simple parallax and select this one, add an image. Now upload image, select that file. Uh, let me show you. I think this file. Yeah, this is the file, I guess. So select this file, click on open. Yeah, this is the file. Select it, click on open, click on set image. All right, now let, let's not do anything for now because uh, first I want to show you why everything is done okay so first let's do the mistake and after that we'll understand why we did what okay so simply click on save changes click on update come back over here let's refresh this page now as you can see we have the image in the background but i think yeah we have the image in the background but we have few problems over here first of all this looks bad because you know we have this gap at left and right. So we don't want that gap. Okay. So if you don't want that gap, what you have to do, you have to stretch this section. So again, you can click on this pencil button. You can click on this stretch row. Okay. Click on save changes. Let's click on update. Let's again, refresh this page. Now, as you can see, that problem is solved. Now, if I would have just made that stretch row, you would not know what that does. Okay. That is the reason first I did that. Okay. Now, let me do one thing. Let me add some padding uh, at top. Okay, let's add, for example, if you see there's a nice amount of gap over here and then we have the text. Okay, so above this text, there's a decent amount of gap. But here, about this text, there's very little gap. So let's add some gap at top of this. All right, so again, click on this pencil button, click on design options, and you have this padding. Type in 60 pixels. All right, and click on save changes, click on update. Come back over here. Let's refresh this page. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a decent amount of gap. Now let's change the color of these things. So come back over here. Click on this pencil button. All right. For the learn validate and every, all the text color is white, except for this color. This is pink color. So let's do that. Learn is white. So select learn. You have this text color, select white from here. Then we have the collaborate. We have to change the color for this one. Select the text color and select custom. Now, because we want to add a custom color. Now for the text, the code that we have to enter for that pink color is FF4367. Okay. When you do that, you will get that beautiful pink color. It's FF4367. Now click on OK. Now again for validate, I, I want to make it white. And for this join 47 million students, I also make want to make it white click on save changes click on update come back over here and let's refresh this page all right now as you can see this looks much much better now the uh, text looks quite different but we'll fix that we'll see how to fix that okay it's quite easy now before that let's add these three different sections okay wordpress lms social network and web application now it's quite easy Click on this plus button, this small plus button where when you hover this, it says prepend to this column. Click on this and click on row. We have to add a new row and we have to divide this row into three columns. As you can see, we have one column, two column and three column. So if you want to divide this into three columns, it's quite easy. You hover this and you select this one. One by three plus one by three plus one by three. All right. We have three columns and in the first column, we have to add this icon then this text and this text. Okay, let's do that. Click on this plus button and select text block. Now, first of all, let's delete everything and click on this short code and search for the icon short code, which is over here icons. 
and what icon do you want there are thousands of icon you can select anyone i'm selecting this instagram logo so let me select that and the size of the icon uh, for the size of the icon we have to select 64 pixels so just type in 64 pixels over here and click on insert short code okay now this will insert this icon or uh, short code over here after that we have this text w uh, wordpress elements or any text that you want to uh, just add all right let me cancel this all right so i'm just copying and pasting this over here let me come back paste it over here then after that we have this text learning management system for wordpress copy and paste it over here now i want to increase the size of wordpress lms so i'll select this and i'll make it heading three all right because uh, this is quite bigger and bolder that is the reason so this is how it works now let me click on save changes and click on update let's see what changes that this makes okay let's refresh this page all right as you can see this is how it looks we have this icon we have all the text but it is not looking good at all now we need to do few changes for example we need to add this beautiful pink color uh, background color and add some padding and so let's do that so come over here and you have to select this thing click on this pencil button click on design background color we have to add the same color code ff4367 you can uh, just write it somewhere so that you remember this code now what i want to do is i want to make it a little bit transparent if you see this background color is a little bit transparent as you can see we can see this hand uh, behind this thing so if you want to make it transparent you have this alpha 200 percent you can decrease this so i'm decreasing this to something like 80 percent okay now let's add some padding so i'm adding padding of 20 on all the sides okay you have this padding typed in over here type in 20 and all the sides which means that it will add this 20 pixels gap from all the sides as you can see this text and all the content you have this 20 person uh, pixels gap from all the four sides now let's add some margin as well so for the margin top type in 30 pixels and margin bottom type in zero all right in the top margin type 30 bottom margin zero now margin will add this gap you know between this button and this thing okay this is the 30 per pixels gap and the reason we added zero pixels in the bottom because as you can see uh, there is no gap at the bottom this particular section is uh, sticking or touching this bottom okay that is the reason we typed in this zero pixels as the margin okay this should uh, just solve the problem let's click on save changes click on update let's come over here let's refresh this page all right, as you can see now, this looks quite similar, but still few changes are left. Few things are still left. Now, what you have to do, you have to go back to that file that you have just downloaded. And uh, let me go there. And in this file, you'll see this CSS file. Open this file and press Control A. It will select everything. Now press Control C to copy everything. Come back to your dashboard, scroll down, click on this gear icon and paste everything over here. Click on save, update, come back to this page and let's refresh it. All right, let me again refresh it. Mm, let's wait. Let me try it again. All right, it uh, should do the... All right, so this one, yeah. yeah one thing is left i'm sorry what you have to do is we have to add a css class and i'll explain you why we are doing this uh, first let me show you how you can add that css class so click on this text block click on this pencil button uh, scroll down uh, at the bottom you'll say extra class name uh, under that type in three uh, dash featured dash blocks okay three featured blocks with all these dashes click on save changes and click on update now come over here let's refresh this page and we should see the changes now now as you can see the style is totally changed now let me explain you why is this happening now oh uh, if you know about css you, uh, you already know why is this happening but for those of you guys uh, who, who are not good in technical you don't know what css html is what if we have done is we have created a class over here not it's not important to learn or understand this but i'm just explaining you this 
we have created a class three featured block and we have added some CSS over here. Now, if you search for this one, as you can see three featured blocks, we are doing some changes over here, three featured blocks, you know, all these things with three featured blocks. Uh, those are the changes that we have done. For example, we have simply go ahead. We made all this color to white text color and you know, the icon is, uh, you know, alignment towards the right and all those things. So that is basically what it does. Now, what I'll do is instead of doing everything again and again, I'll copy it two, three times, drag it over here and drag one under here. Now, once you copy this, we can simply go ahead and change the title and the icon. We don't need to do the same things because we have copied it. The style is copied. Uh, it, we just need to change the text. Okay. Instead of LM, WordPress LMS, we need to type social network and those things. Okay. And click on proceed or click on update. Come over here, refresh it and let's see, see the changes. Okay. As you can see, this is how it looks. Now with this, we have successfully completed the first section so easily. Now the other sections are more easier. This was the most toughest section, frankly speaking. And after that, everything is very, very easy. So let's uh, start designing this one. Very easy. I just copy this thing, learn anywhere, learn anytime. Come over here because we are creating a new section. We'll click on this big plus button and we'll add a new row. All right, I did some mistake. Okay, so click on this big plus button, add a new row. And in so inside that row, first of all, we'll have to add a text block because we have a text. Copy this text from here. Let me just select everything, paste that text and let me make it uh, heading one and let me make it center aligned. All right, and after that, we have this text. Let me paste in this text. This is heading three, all right? So if it is not heading three, you can just make it from here, heading three and make it center align. Okay. Now let me again change the size of the uh, heading one. So I can go ahead and do the same changes uh, like we have seen earlier for the heading one. So style under style after this semicolon, you can type in. Now this is not necessary. This is only if you want a particular amount or size. Okay. So I'm doing this font size 40 pixels. All right. Click on visual. Now, as you can see, this uh, size is changed. Now for this one, uh, for anywhere and anytime, the color is that pink color. So I'll select anywhere, click on text color, click on custom and paste in that color code FF4367. Click on OK. Again, I'll select this anytime and do the same thing and click on save changes. Now, if you see, there is one more thing left. If you compare between this section and the next section, the color of this section in which these two texts are present uh, is a little bit lighter color. Okay, light gray color, not the white color. If you can see the difference between two sections. Okay, and also there is some gap at top and bottom of this particular text. Let's do that. So select this pencil button to do some changes in the row. Now click on design and first let's add some uh, padding at top and bottom. So top I'll add 60 and bottom 30. And for the background color, I'll add F A F A F A. This is a very light uh, gray color. Okay. So click on save changes and click on update. Let's come over here and refresh this page. Okay. Now as you can see, this looks much better. Come again, come over here. Let it load. Scroll down. Now let's add these things, uh, this counter. Okay. So this is a counter and after that, we'll see how to add this one. Okay. So first of all, we'll have to add a new row. So click on this plus button, click on row. Now let's divide this row into four columns. All right. Click on this first column, click on text block, delete everything from here. Click on this short code and select counter. Okay. Now it's time to uh, enter the counter. Now start value of the counter, maybe start from 50. Maximum value is the value that you want the ultimate value, which is 4,900. So this is the maximum value. So at this value, the counter will stop and it will start from 100. So 100, 200, 300, 400. Okay. Now time uh, delay three seconds and increment. So uh, every time, how many numbers should be increased? So maybe 50 or 100. So let me type in 50 insert short code. All right. We have this counter click on enter to come to next line and enter this thing courses. All right. Just type in or enter courses and this should be fine. And after that, you have to do one more thing. You have to add uh, this 
uh, CSS class, go at the bottom under extra class name, add home counter item. Okay. Click on save, uh, create and click on update. Let's refresh it and see the changes. As you can see, we have this counter. So similarly, we can add or uh, more counters. We do don't even have to add it. We can simply copy and paste it over here. So copy three, four times. All right. Now you can, all right, let me do this. Okay, fine. Now you can go to the second one, do the same changes like 300 instructors. All right, so we can go. Now for this time, our minimum value, we can type 10, maximum value 300, delay one. And uh, for this one, uh, we can type increment 10. And instead of courses, type instructors, click on save changes. And similarly, you can do all these rest of the changes. Click on update. Come over here, let's refresh it. All right, as you can see, courses, instructors, and all these things. Now we have to add these things. We have these categories, different categories of courses. So come over here, come to this page, uh, scroll down. Now click on this plus button to add a row. And inside that, click on this plus button and add one more row. Because, you know, we have one section, we have two sections, that why, that's why. So in the first row, uh, in the row that we have just uh, added, click on this pencil button or plus button and search for Vibe Taxi Mini Carousel. This is the one, Vibe Taxi Mini Carousel. We don't want any heading, so we can just delete this heading. Uh, order by alphabetical uh, order descending, which means the latest one, the last one will be shown the first, okay? And uh, for the carousel width, make sure to select 266. Okay, very important 266. And in big screen, we want to show three, which means in computers, it will show three in one single row. And in uh, tablets, you want to show two. Okay, in tablets, it will show a uh, two in one row. And in mobile phones, we want to show only one. And at the end, total number type three and click on save changes. Now click on update and let's refresh and see the changes. All right, guys, now as you can see, we have this thing over here. Okay, so this is present. And similarly, because we have only one course under one category, uh, we are seeing only one. But if you have more courses, you'll see more over here. Okay, instead of one, you'll see more. You'll, you'll see three categories over here. But we have only one course. That That is the reason it is showing only one. All right. Now, after that, we have to add this section. Now, the beautiful thing is you don't even have to add this section. Let me explain you first what I mean by that. But before that, uh, I think we need to now everything is fine over here. So let's see how to add this section. So instead of adding this section, what we can do is we can uh, at the left hand side, you'll see this layer slider. So open this link in a new tab so that, you know, we are still on present on the this page. Now click on first uh, do all this next, next, next. All right finish now click on this import slider and uh, choose file and in the file which you have downloaded you will have one file a uh, zip file which is this layer slider export whatever it is select that and click on open click on import slider all right you will see this slider over here all right you have this slider let me yeah let me increase that size okay fine so there are two uh pages or maybe not two pages two slides as you can see this is the one slide colin brigger alisa thompson and this is the second slide so you can change all these images all the name and everything from here okay if you want to change that for example instead of this name uh let me put in my name now to change this thing simply uh double click on this and type in whatever you want. So I am, I want to type Nayash Sheikh instead of that. Okay. Now, instead of this thing, if you want to type something else, you can do that instead of this image. Uh, if you want to add some other image, double click on this image. And uh, for example, this is the image. I don't want to add this image. I want to add this one. Okay. So I'll select this guy, click on insert. Now, as you can see, the image is also changed. Okay. So you can do all the changes that you want. And after that, we can add this over here. Okay. In this particular page. So you don't have to create it. You already have a template. You simply have to do some changes if you want. Okay, so quite good. Nice one. Fine. 
and after that i think we have some short code to add this thing or maybe no shortcut is required uh, simply come over here let's refresh this page and cancel this or we can leave it now let's scroll down now click on this plus button select row again click on this button and select another row and click on this plus button search for layer slider this is the one all right because we have only one uh, that is automatically selected click on save changes click on update come over here let's refresh this page now as you can see this is looking amazing now let's add some gap at top and bottom because as you can see this is just uh, sticking to this one come back to this page let's come over here click on this uh, pencil button for the main row go to design uh, let's add some padding uh, top and bottom maybe 60 pixels should be fine click on save changes click on update and let's refresh this page all right now as you can see we have a decent amount of gap at top and bottom as well now after that we have this thing our instructors quite easy page nice and simple section then we have just two more sections quite easy all right let's do it very quickly for this section first obviously as you can see we have this uh, text and uh, then we have this thing so let's come back to this page and scroll down click on this plus button click on this row and again click or uh, add another row in that okay now click on this plus button and search for text block which is over here click on this now delete everything from the from here and add these text okay so let me copy this uh, paste it over here the first one is i guess h2 so select the first one select h2 for the second one paragraph now for both of them they are center aligned all right and the color instructor color is this pink color so select this and text color select that custom color f f three uh, sorry four three six seven okay fine we have this color over here click on save changes now what i want to do is i want to divide this inner row into this one uh, let me show you this one one by six plus four by six plus one by six and i'll explain you the reason first select that and bring this text block under the middle one so uh, what this will do is this will add this will leave this one by six of this particular row gap blank from both the sides and we'll have this content in the center okay if you see this thing we have some nice amount of gap from both the sides now that is the reason we are doing it okay so that we have this nice amount of gap from both the sides and all the content is within this much space all right now after that let's add these uh things okay so click on this plus button and search for why a uh, member carousel which is over here select this one now do you want to show the title we don't want to show the title we don't want any dot or anything any arrows or if you want some arrows or dots you can have that i think uh, we don't have any dots or arrows over here but if you want at the bottom it will show those dots and because this is a slider you can use that you know arrows and dots to go to some other slide but we don't want that okay now type of member that you want to show here we want to show only the instructors okay so select instructors from here and the style what uh, style do you want to show so i want to show the third style all right now scroll down and you have some more options like the widget uh, the width what should be the width of the carousel block okay so i am selecting 200 in, instead of 268 now again for the responsive on big screens i want to show three as you can see one two three is shown at one time on uh, laptops or tablets uh, small laptops or tablets i want to show three uh, sorry two on mobile phones i want to show one okay and total number of blocks i want to show is four okay because uh, if it is more than three only then we have that slider or carousel now click on this save settings and this should be fine just one more thing is left select this row main row uh, select this stretch row go to design and let's add some gap at top and bottom so add padding top 30 and padding bottom 60 click on save changes click on update let's come over here and refresh this page this should be fine 
All right, as you can see, this is looking better uh, because we have not set any image. This is looking uh, weird, but you know, in real, it would look awesome. All right. Now, after that, we have this section. Okay, very nice and sweet section, section five. So come back to this page. Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, first of all, again, we have to click on this plus button and click on this row to add a new row. Now we have to divide this row as well uh, into two columns. Now, if you notice one thing, this column is quite bigger. As you can see, the it is still here and this column is quite smaller. So let's add, divide it and uh, this one, let's see. Uh, I think this one should be fine. Two by three plus one by three. So this is two by three. This is just one by three. Uh, in the two by three, first we have this text. So let me copy these two text from here. Click on this plus button, text block, delete everything and let me paste in this. Now the first one is H2, so, or maybe H1, you can, it's all up to you, you can select that. And the second one is obviously paragraph, so don't do any changes on that. And uh, oh, we have this pink color with, for this one, apply for instructor. So select this uh, section or this portion, apply for instructor, change this color to ff4367 and click on ok now below this we have this counter so just below this text uh, press enter to come back come down and select this uh, short code and select counter which is over here now uh, the uh, start value of the counter was not counter i'm sorry we have the countdown <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry so select this short code and select countdown now date, month, year, yeah, this is the format I want. Uh, so countdown day, maybe uh, maybe three days, uh, 10 hours, five minutes, 45 seconds, okay? And I want this to be bigger, so I'll select timer size three. Click on insert short code. Click on save changes. Now uh, this won't look good because, you know, we don't have this thing in the background. So let's add this uh, video in the background, okay? Very important. So come back over here, click on this uh, main button, click on this pencil button to edit the main row. First thing we have to stretch the row because we have this video in the background so that when we stretch, it will be stretched throughout the page. Now we have to scroll down and tick mark this, use video background. Now there is one link automatically present. If you want, you can go to YouTube, copy any video link and paste it over here. Now click on save changes. Now we have to change the text color. I forgot this to white. As you can see, this text color is white. So let me come over here, click on this pencil button, select this text, make it white, or uh, this text as well. Click on save changes. Now in this, we have to add the registration form, but before let's just update this page, come over here, let's refresh it. All right, now as you can see, we have the video in the background. We have all these things. Now uh, we just need to add that simple registration form and it's really easy. Now uh, the, we have to note one thing. Now, because this is for apply, we are saying apply for instructor. So whenever a person fills in this thing, he should be automatically applied as the instructor. Okay, so we have to remember that. So let's do, let's see how we can do that. So here you have the LMS settings, however LMS and click on settings again. Now this time click on registration forms. We don't have any, so let's click on add registration form. You can give it any name. I can uh, maybe home page register or home register. You can give it any name and click on add form. Now, first of all, we have to do a few settings. So select these settings and assign user role select this to instructor and click on save so that whenever a person you know submits this he will be assigned as the instructor now i just want to include the name i don't want to include bio or sign up so click on save form field now copy this short code from here copy it okay short code copied again go to pages which is over here click on pages Select the home page, click on edit, uh, scroll down. Now click on this plus button and select this text block, 
delete everything and just paste in that code short code click on save changes click on update uh, come over here let's refresh and see the changes now as you can see we have this beautiful uh, counter or this registration form available over here all right now this is how it is done now the last section is very easy we have this popular courses first let me copy this text so first obviously we have a text uh, let's scroll down click on this plus button click on add row obviously click on this plus button search for text block or delete everything paste in that code or copy that code now uh, this one is h1 i guess so heading one because it is quite bigger and this is the normal one now everything is center aligned and the courses is this pink color so i'll select this courses text color customs color ff4367 click on ok fine click on save changes now click on this plus button and search for vibe and select this one vibe grid now first of all we don't need any title so no title and for the post type we want to show only the courses so select this courses uh, under the post type and how do you want this to be ordered most student recently published so maybe most student okay courses with most student so i'm selecting that and scroll down now for the style uh, there are many different styles uh, that one which i have used in the demo website is this one uh, the fifth style okay so if you want the same style you can simply select that now scroll down uh grid machinery layout you have to select this one three columns because as you can see we have one two three columns all right if you want four columns you can select four columns it's all up to you and uh, rest everything should be fine click on save changes and click on update come over here let's refresh this page all right now as you can see this looks amazing all right so with this we have completed the home page now let's start working on the footer as you can see we have this footer which is divided into three different sections let's see how to create this footer so again come back to your dashboard let it load now to create a photo it's really easy you simply hover appearance and click on widgets now whatever you want to add for the footer section you have to add under top footer sidebar all right so the first thing that we need is this simple text okay so it's just just a simple text wordpress lms we are whatever whoever we are okay so what we have to do we have to search for text html uh, so it's basically at the bottom here it is text select this text now select top footer sidebar click on add widget all right now paste in that code and for the title we want this welcome to WPLMS or whatever title you like click on or uh, just paste in that title click on save come over here let's refresh it all right as you can see we have this one present okay now the second one is this course categories so search for that course categories here it is course categories select this select top footer sidebar click on add widget and uh, order by name or uh, descending ascending whatever you like you can select that come over here let's refresh it again you can see because we have only one course we have we have created uh, different categories but only one category has one course okay so that is the reason it is showing only one now the third one is this subscribe form okay this is the mailchimp subscribe form so to create this form first we'll need to add a plugin okay so from the left hand side hover plugins and click on add new now let's search for MailChimp. Now install and activate this one MailChimp for WordPress by Ivory Code, I guess. I don't know what it is, Ivory Code. So just install and activate this one. It has got more than a million active installs, as you can see, and more than 1,000 five star ratings. So this is a great one. All right, now once you do so, you'll see a new option at the left hand side, MailChimp for WordPress. Click on that. Now we need uh, the MailChimp API key. So you'll simply get it over here. So go to MailChimp.com. Now, if you don't know more about uh, MailChimp or email marketing, how to do email marketing for free, you can go to YouTube and search for Nayar Sheikh 
or you can just go to my channel and search for that video or you can just go to youtube and search for nayar shake email marketing or nayar shake mailchimp you'll see a one hour long video watch that you'll understand everything how to use mailchimp and how to do free email marketing all right now because we are over here let's go to our dashboard so click on this dashboard fine now again click on this and uh, you can go to account you can go to profile it's all the same thing click on account now click on extra and select api keys you will see this key copy this key from here come over here and paste in this key click on save changes it will verify this key now as you can see it is verified and it says connected now this is getting this is you know getting all your list so this will get all your list okay now once this is done you have to click on form and we have to create a new form all right so select this now you have to select uh, what list do you want this form for now again if you don't know what this list is what all these things are go ahead watch that free video that is amazing okay so i am just naming it form footer and for this list list one click on add new form now uh, how do you want this form okay so uh, we have this button we have this thing we don't i don't want this label okay i'll simply delete this label which says email address i just want the email address bar i want this button rest everything should be fine click on save changes now this is it you don't have to do anything else now click on this uh, short code copy this short code again hover appearances and click on widgets now again a uh, search for text uh, which is it should be at the bottom here it is text and select top footer sidebar click on add widget paste in this short code and copy this subscribe form title paste it under title click on save come over here let's refresh this page let me cut this thing now as you can see we have this thing over here all right so this is how it is done now let's see how to change this bottom footer setting as you can see we have wipe themes all right reserved so copyright settings obviously you want to change this and put in your own website name or company name so it's really easy how wp lms and select footer now scroll down and here it is template design wipe theme all right reserved so i just want to delete this template design i want to change this wipe theme i want to delete it and type in blogdude.com or maybe just blog dude all right reserves okay click on save changes and come over here let's refresh it it should uh, do all these changes now as you can see blog dude all right reserved all right guys now once we have done this let's create our menu okay our website does not have any menu if you see so let's create a menu come over here now to create a menu it's really easy how our appearances uh, or appearance and click on menus now if you want to create a menu you have to give it a name so i am naming it main menu click on create menu all right now i'm not creating different menus for different uh, you know for students instructor and everyone i'm just creating one menu for everyone so i'll select main menu uh, i'll select main menu for students and main menu for instructor so this is this menu is for all and i want to add home page my account uh, all courses page and what all and become an instructor so for become an instructor first let's add all these pages three pages now for become an instructor i'll go to custom links i'll copy my website url paste it under url and i'll type in forward slash register all right and in the link text i'll type in become an instructor click on add to menu now under all courses first i'll drag this all courses above under all courses i want to show the courses which are available on my website okay but if you see there's no option for course category so we'll have to enable that it's quite easy you'll see the screen options click on that and enable this thing course category okay just tick mark this now you'll see a new option course category 
uh, click on view all select all the courses that you want to enable or you want to show so i want to show all these courses and i want everything under all courses click on save menu come over here let's refresh this page okay now as you can see we have the menu as well now let's do the WooCommerce settings, okay? Not much to do over there, but let's do that, okay? So how about WooCommerce and click on settings. All right, so first of all, we have already done this under the quick setup, the address, uh, which all country you're selling to. So because this is a digital products, we are selling to all countries. Anyone can come and just, you know, purchase anything. Now for the currency, I'm using uh, US dollars. If you, obviously you can change these things if you want. Now for products, we don't have any settings. We are not shipping, so we can uh, just, you know, ignore this shipping option. Now come to payments because we'll be accepting payments. So payment is important. You'll see this PayPal checkout, click on manage. Now let me show you how you can, you know, enable this PayPal checkout, what you have to do. So what you have to do, you have to simply go to paypal.com and log into your account. All right, now once you log into your account, you'll see this option at the left hand side, seller preferences, click on that. Now you'll see this API access and besides that, this is the update link. Click on that link. All right, now scroll down and select this one. NVP SOAP API integration. Click on manage API credentials. Now this will, uh, you know, do a security check. So it will send a SMS on your mobile number. Click on next. Let me receive that. And let me enter the code security code. Click on continue. All right, now you'll see this screen. Okay, so uh, you'll see API username, click on show. You will see your uh, username, copy this from here. Come to this page and under live API username, paste it, okay? Now, similarly, copy the password and signature. Click on show, copy it and paste it over here. All right, so I have copied uh, and pasted all the three things. Now we have to do few uh, settings. First of all, let me go at the top and I don't want the title to be PayPal. I want this to be credit card slash debit card or credit slash debit card. Okay. And here also in under description, I want to delete this pay with PayPal. I can just type in, you can pay with your credit card if you don't have a PayPal account. Environment should be live. Scroll down and landing page should be non billing non paypal account so that whenever a person wants to make a payment do want to do the checkout they can do it directly through uh, their card credit card or debit card whatever card they want to use okay so do all these settings and click on save changes all right so this is it this is the only setting that we had to do in woocommerce all right now let's do one thing let's refresh this pay not this page this page now let's see whether this is working fine or not. So suppose if I want to you know, purchase this course, so what I can do, I can click on this. This is how it looks. You know, you can see all these things. I can click on take this course. Now I am redirected to this page. I don't want this. You know, I am redirected to this product page. Now I'll have to add to cart this page. Then I'll have to view this card. Then I'll have to do the checkout. So I don't want this. Okay. I, what I want is, let me show you. Let me go back. Now I want to, whenever, let me go back first. Yeah. Whenever someone clicks on this, take this course, I want them to be redirected to directly the checkout page. Okay. They can just make or uh, do the checkout. Okay. That is exactly what I want. So let's see how we can do that. So come over here under your dashboard, how about WBLMS and select miscellaneous. Okay. Under this, you'll see that setting. Now scroll down and you should see this direct checkout and select this one. Skip the product page, also the card page. Okay. Do the direct checkout and come at the bottom. Click on save changes. Again, come over here. Let's refresh this page. Let's try it again. Let's click on take this course. All right. Now, as you can see, we are redirected directly to this section, the checkout page. Now we can just enter all the information, last name, first name, or address, mobile number, email address. Uh, let me change this email address. 
fine your order details and everything and as you can see it says credit card debit card you can pay with your credit card and debit card now click on this paypal now as you can see we are not redirected to paypal okay it's not a valid postcode let's see okay our country is selected as us let me select india again let's retry click on paypal everything should be fine now if you see we are not redirected to paypal it is just a pop-up okay so that's great now let's see what happens over here okay now i'm getting this error because i am using the same account to make the payment so i have done the uh, settings from this paypal account and i am also trying to make payment from the same paypal account so that is the reason i'm getting that error but obviously you won't see this error and okay that is that was the reason okay but if i uh, try to do this under the incognito window i won't i won't face any problem all right so this is how it is done now few changes are still left uh, for for example the fonts we haven't changed the fonts it's still looking that you know not that good fonts if you like these fonts if you don't want to change it that's great but if you want to change it let me show you how you can do that so again you have to come to your dashboard and under this thing you'll see font manager here it is click on font manager and under this select fonts for live theme editor you have to select all the fonts that you like now the fonts that i have selected for my demo website let me show you those fonts so the first one is lato 900 latin so you just type in lato and you'll see all the options it is loading you cannot see it but it is loading all right so for some reason this is not working uh, but uh, uh, let me show you the fonts that i had used on the demo website so let me go to the demo website let me show you very quickly all right so as you can see these are the fonts that i have used lato 900 latin monserrat regular latin monserrat 700 latin open sans 300 latin railway regular latin railway 800 latin all right so you simply click on this and you search for that for example lato 900 you simply search for lato lato and you will see all the options it is loading let's slow let it load now as you can see we have all the lato options you select that you select this thing okay so this is how you have to select so these are the six fonts that i have selected for my demo website all right guys now let me show you how you can create this certificate so come back to your dashboard and how or lms and click on certificate templates now don't worry you don't have to do it manually i already have everything done for you simply click on add new now go to that folder that you have just downloaded okay and you will see this certificate open that copy everything from here don't copy everything actually copy till here all right till div this div thing okay copy it till here first come to this website let's name it so let's name it uh, certificate one maybe now click on text and paste everything now click on visual this is how it looks now what you have to do is you have to come over here and let me again open this file uh, cut this open this as you can see the uh, size should be 800 into 400 and copy this as the css this is the css so copy this portion for the width 800 height 400 and css paste in this thing now this css doesn't do anything this is my personal css i just created this thing uh, very quickly now this will add some padding from all the sides and a dashed border okay and you can see in the note all the things that you can use so i have used these things so student name uh student course which course the student has taken student uh, marks so if you want to show the marks you copy this short code okay so let's see this thing so if you use this certificate here instead of this short code students image will be displayed instead of this short code students uh, the date of completion of the course will be displayed and it will say something like this this is to certify that mr or mrs uh, student name for example nayar sheikh has completed the course on dash uh, instead of this uh, certificate course the course name will be there for example wordpress e-commerce course with marks maybe 70 80 marks okay so this is how it will work now click on publish now when a person will create a course uh, an instructor or when you will create a course under certificate you can select this certificate all right so this is how it happens now let's see a few sidebars this is the last thing sidebars uh, first of all let me open this website our website let's open a single course 
let's open this course and let's open a single course in the demo website so that you can see the difference all right so this is the demo website if you see uh, we have this content at the left hand side and at the right hand side we have this beautiful sidebar okay we have all this feature related course widgets uh, top rated course and everything shown and in our website we don't have anything like that okay so let's add those sidebars very useful so how are appearances and click on widgets now we have to add first under sidebar under single product sidebar which is this one single product okay so you'll see this course sidebar we have to add everything under course sidebar now the first thing that we need is body press related course widget okay to show this related course widget we have to select that one so body press here it is body press related course widget select this and select course sidebar click on add widget all right number of courses you want to show for example five related course uh, blog style course and related course title click on this save come over here let's refresh it now we won't see anything because we have only one course as you can see no related course found but this is working the second thing that we have is this one top rated course all right now let's see now for this one we have to select body press top rated course i guess body press course widget i guess okay this is the one body press course widget select this make sure course sidebar is selected click on add widget and let's see what we have to select from here so from here we have to select few things style uh, uh for in under style we have to select this one rating uh, uh for the title we can change the title to top rated course now what this will do is it will change the title and it will show the uh, products uh, by rating all right order by you can select rating okay and style also rating click on save again because we have only one course let's see no top rated course because no course is rated yet let's rate this course okay we cannot rate it we haven't you know purchased this course but whenever per, co, you know any course except uh, get some rating like this it will start showing over here course reviews we can add these as well so we'll search for course review widgets here it is select this click on add widget don't need to do any settings but if you want you can change the title and so all right so this will do for course sidebar now for a particular category sidebar or all course sidebar let's click on all courses okay as you can see this is how all courses page looks like and let's see the demo all courses page all right here as you can see we have some uh, sidebars some really useful sidebars like you know first one is course cat category navigation then we have the filter widget and we also have this featured widget okay so let's see how to do this thing so first of all uh, all these things here yeah, whatever you want to show under all courses or particular category you will put everything under body press which is over here okay under over here so first thing is course uh, categories navigation so let's search for that one here it is course category navigation select this and select body press here it is click on add widget all right come over here let's refresh this page now as you can see it is uh, it is showing now the second thing is this course categories filter okay now for this we have to select this one body press course filter widget let's see course widget course filter widget here it is make sure body press is selected click on add widget now uh, i want to filter by category filter by paid uh, we don't have online offline so we can untick that but filter by instructor and uh, okay yeah rest everything should be fine let's refresh it now as you can see we have this filteration options as well now the last one is the featured course so again come over here and search for first let's uh, do this body press course widget select this thing select body press click on add widget now this time what we have to do we have to add the title as featured widget or uh, featured courses now for the style again we want to show the rating uh, style okay now how do you want to uh, order by okay so we want to order this by number of students okay featured or the popular course this is how it will show 
click on this re re refresh this page all right now because we have only one course with zero students this is how it looks all right now let's add a instructor dashboards okay how it will look under instructor if you see the dashboard of an instructor how it looks let's see all right as you can see in the demo website this is how the dashboard of the instructor looks like now let's see our website in our website the instructor dashboard is all blank but here we have a lot of things okay so let's add these widgets now for that uh, obviously we'll add everything under instructor sidebar so we have to use all the widgets which says dashboard okay as you can see let's see all these which says dashboard that is the one we have to use and after dashboard it, it should say instructor now the first thing that we have to use is dashboard instructor simple stats okay let's search for that one here it is dashboard simple stats select that and select instructor sidebar and click on add widget now if you see the first one uh, this is how it is and uh, we have few uh, stats over here first of all courses quiz questions so if you want to add that if you want to add these under instructor you have to use these things uh, let me show you uh, this dashboard simple stats add this select instructor sidebar click on add widget now suppose you want to add the number of courses so you can just type in courses and uh, finished courses or finished units or whatever you know or maybe finished courses let's select this one uh, one half okay as you can see this is one fourth one fourth if you select one half it will be size of these two okay so maybe let's select one half click on save let's refresh it now as you can see this is one half now let's let me select something else uh, same thing oh uh, where it is dashboard simple stats instructor sidebar for this thing uh, finished units and let me type in units all right now let's let me select this thing uh, one fourth and let me select one more simple stats here it is and let me select this quizzes okay and this also one fourth save let's come over here refresh it now as you can see this is half one fourth and one fourth i haven't created anything any course any thing like that that's why it says it's all zero zero now after that we have this commission and all those things let's see what widget are used for these ones so come over here and search for instructor commission i think it is under dashboard instructor commission let me see here it is dashboard instructor commissions okay commission stats whatever it is uh, make sure it, uh, instructor sidebar is selected click on add widget let me minimize this first all right now i want this to be full width click on save because if you see this this commission thing is full width let's refresh it all right no data no course found and after that we have announcement and instructing modules okay so search for dashboard instructor announcement i guess all right here it is dashboard instructor announcement click on add widget first of all it will be one half and let me make this a capital click on this and the third one uh, the last one is instructor modules so dashboard instructor um, here it is instructing modules and what all do you want to inc include post pages courses questions quizzes all right uh, what all you want to include you can simply tick mark on that or you can just click on that one half for this as well let's refresh it all right now as you can see courses quizzes whatever you, you have selected it will show up over here and the person can make all the announcement all right now this is how it is created i think uh, we have completed it we have you know included everything we haven't left any single thing we have seen how to create a product how to create a quiz or how to create any unit or complete course we have also seen how to create this complete home page all right so everything is completed and you know included in this particular video 
all right guys so with this we have completed this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you find it helpful if this tutorial was helpful for you guys if you find it helpful give a thumbs up to this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos share this with your friends and families i would really appreciate it because you know i put a lot of efforts in creating these videos you know these videos are not at all easy to create you guys you can understand these long tutorials you have to do a lot of research we have to do everything in advance first we have to do a few demo websites so that you know we are not stuck somewhere when we are creating the actual tutorial so it is very time consuming and it takes a lot of time a lot of energy so i would i i think i you should you know appreciate it i would think you will appreciate it so if you do make sure to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends and families on facebook twitter or any social media platform now if you have any doubt any comments any suggestions questions for me you can leave them in the comments section below thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon